everyone thank you so much for clicking onto my video i hope you're having an awesome week you are once again welcome to discover with monami in today's video i'm going to talk about some of the stereotypical ideas people have about black people and sometimes how we ourselves we live up to these ideas so <laughs> Stereotype. There's obviously there's so many stereotypical ideas about black people, like the angry black woman, black men are criminals, they are lazy, black men are abusive, they are cheaters, black men are uneducated, black women have a particular shape, you know, you have to look a certain way if you're a black woman black, to be appreciated. Black women do not have hair, apparently we are all bald headed. Um, black children are rude, black children are violent, you know, all these stereotypical ideas that people expect us to live up to because when someone see a black person, they just think, oh my God, there's another rude person coming, you know, which is quite sad. All these stereotypes start as stems from obviously discrimination, racism and all of that kind of stuff. In order for you to control somebody, right, you have to strip them of their pride. You have to strip them of their courage. You have to take away the things that they value most. You take it away. Or the things that makes them strong-minded and independent. You take those things away and then you enforce your own, your own things on them. Then you can control them. The angry black woman notion is stem from the passion. Black men are very passionate, you know, black people in general are very passionate. And sometimes the passion comes across as being um, forceful and being for forceful with expressions because we are quite ex expressive, we are very energetic, isn't it? So the passion and the expressions that comes along with it can make people feel intimidated. So then they think, oh, why are you so angry? There's this idea that black women are, black men are lazy. They don't like to work. They are criminals and all of that. Black men get it very hard. Let's be honest. Black men get it very hard. Even getting like professional job roles, for instance. A black man can have all the qualifications and everything, but when he gets to the interview, he's not going to get a job because he's black. Yet the system is saying, oh, no discrimination against race, culture, blah, blah, blah. That's just a piece of paper written down. People, when it comes to their natural human nature, people live their lives or live up to what they have, they have trained to live up to. So if let's say you go for an interview and the interviewer is grew up in a household where racial comments were made or where they're trained to think, you know, black man is a certain way. When he's interviewing a black man, He's going to have that notion. So if it doesn't matter how great you interview, he's not going to give you the job. That's just how it, as it is. So it's not that these men don't want to work. One, they don't have the, the education. They don't have the education because a lot of these black men are not given the opportunity while they are growing up. A child goes to school, for instance, and he's very energetic. If it's a girl, it's like, oh, she's very active, she's cute, oh, it's cute. But when it's a boy, he's violent, he's aggressive, he's angry, he's a child, he just wants to express himself. That's that's the that's the passion, that's just the strength of, of being black. I don't know where it comes from, but we are very energetic, we're very athletic. That's why when it comes to all these strong heart athletics, we are good at it. So this child grows up with this sort of foundation. They are being told they are violent, they are aggressive. They are being shut down. Then they, they are the ones who end up in um, detention in schools because maybe someone pushed them and they pushed them back. And then they end up going to all these schools, special schools, blah, 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 whatever they call them. And these children grow up in environments where they are not encouraged to be their best of themselves so after education they don't have any education because they didn't get the necessary attention so they come out without any qualifications and it's difficult for them to get jobs so this boy is then walking down the street doing anything they they know or they can to make money because as a black man he's brought up to be responsible take care of his family and all of these things and here he is in an environment where he doesn't have the qualification to get the proper job that's going to 
give him the finance. So guess what? He goes out there and he possibly do things which are not right. To, and then to make money, then he ends up in prison. And the same system is like, is like um, backlashing them for something the system has created. You know, so because even in statistics, obviously everyone knows, let's not even look at statistics, everyone knows the possibility of a black boy getting into prison for even long, long term, longer term sentence compared to a white person or other race is higher. You know, a black boy and a white boy will do the same crime, the black man or black boy will get more. So they are going into prison because of all these things. Black people tend to live in communities which are much more deprived. So they find it difficult to be successful in life. These are things created by the system. It wasn't created by black people. Black people didn't just wake up and say, I want to live in the ghetto. They get put there in the ghetto because they don't have the money to buy the fancy houses and things like that. So all these things leads to people living up to these stereotypes without even them knowing. Like, media has this idea of a beautiful woman, how a beautiful woman is, is, is supposed to look like, you know? You're supposed to be lighter skin with long flowy hair, you're supposed to have a certain body shape and all these things have certain eyes, certain nose. Black women don't always have that. Our hair is not long and flowy. So black men w wake up every day watching television, go on the media, wherever, in magazines, seeing this specific look. Then you grow up as a child looking at this look as the beautiful look. So what does this child grow up to? He grows up and that's the look he or she wants. That's the look they, uh, they aspire to. So when you see a dark-skinned black woman with, you know, Afro hair, that's not beautiful to him or her because they are brought up to think that is not the beautiful look. So guess what? A black man will look at a, will, will look at a black woman and say, you are too dark, you're not beautiful enough because that's what they have been trained to believe. That's what's imprinted to them. So what does he do? He go for a white woman, you know, so that he doesn't have to deal with the angry black woman so that he doesn't have to deal with the black woman who does not look beautiful who does not have the not the supposed beautiful look i find it strange that a handsome man is supposed to be tall dark but a beautiful woman is not it's not dark like it's not so <laughs> those are some of the stereotypes that we live up to having these stereotypes there makes it difficult for us to be successful in our lives of course because to get interview for even job with your surname is difficult uh i think we are also live we are also encouraging this stereotype that for instance i went on a date with a black man he's black he wasn't mixed with afro hair and he said to me i don't like afro hair and i'm like okay I have hair. My afro hair is beautiful. When I wear my natural hair, I'm more empowered. I feel more myself. I feel more beautiful. I wear wigs because it's easier. I stick it on and I'm gone. Sometimes the rush, the, the demands of life makes it difficult for me to, um, to keep my natural look. That's why I wear certain things. But for you to say you don't like natural hair and you are a black person with natural hair, I'm like, there's something seriously wrong in there. The idea that black pe men and black people are not intelligent is something I find very stupid because every race, you get people who are intelligent, you get people who are not very smart. It's just, it, it's across board, you know. Maybe you might not see the intelligence of a black person because you've met very few black people and Maybe you're not open-minded to talking to black people. There's so many successful, intelligent black people out there. And um, these people are sometimes not, um, they are sometimes not heard of because they don't get the opportunities to exhibit themselves. They don't get the opportunities to show themselves. There's so many things which we use in our world created by black people. But guess what? It gets covered up you know, and put a different name on it and things like that. It doesn't mean black people are not intelligent. Black people are very intelligent, very smart in all areas of life. But in this, our Western world, sometimes black people do not get the same opportunities as other people. We can do a lot more than sing and dance. 
we can educate, we can invent, we are inventive, we are everything and we can do it. We need to love our race and love ourselves. I think that's what we lack at the moment. And those are some of the things that we need, we really need to instill in these new generations, self-love, self-acceptance. You can be whoever you want, but most importantly, be a black person. It doesn't mean you act different to everybody, but it only means you love who you are. You love the melanin within you. You love your color. You love your skin. You love your culture. If you have a specific defined culture, you love it. You don't compare your skin tone and your culture to others who might not understand you. Because to me, if you are not black, don't give me advice on being black. That's the thing, because I'm the only one who knows how... A black person is the only one who knows how we wake, how they, their day-to-day -day activity or lifestyle as a black person goes, right? So, there are stereotypes for every race across boards. Sometimes ours appears to be much more difficult, harder, because that's just how society has made things. And we are, gradually, we are struggling to break down some of these boundaries and some of these stereotypes. We can achieve. We we are achievers. We can do everything. We can see nowadays how more empowered we are, how much more ambitious we are becoming. It's early stages, but with this ambitious and empowerment, we can work together and live and live above these stereotypes. You're not angry, you're only passionate. Exhibit your passion. Don't let anyone's words control how passionate you, you want to be or how passionate you are. If you're a child and you are active, be active. Don't be timid. You need to let our children be themselves, right? The fact that someone is intimidated by you, that's their problem. That's not your problem, right? How, someone, this is what Anthony I always say. Your idea of who I am or your opinion about who I am it's on you, it's not on me. Because I didn't instill that that idea in you. You found it wherever you found it. So, black people, we need to be empowered. We need to live above these stereotypes. And we need to know that our race has gone through a lot. We are still going through a lot. Whether we understand it or not, or people will accept it or not, it is what it is. The system is not favorable to us and people are not favorable to us it's not their fault it's just because of how they've been trained but we are all learning together we are re rebuilding lives together to make the black race a very respected race because every race has to be respected valued the same and all stereotypes should just be thrown away and live together as one happy united people on the world that's probably gonna sink very soon <laughs> abraham lincoln said can never make a man feel miserable when they have self-worth that's what we need and with self-worth we can fight all these stereotypes don't forget to subscribe to my channel share this video leave comment down below and like my videos you are discovering with monami thank you